What's up beauties? It's Brandy. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today I'm coming on with some really gorgeous hair here. <laughs> with some really beautiful hair that I just received not too long ago from RPG Show. I've just been wanting to change up my look a little bit and if you guys have been following me for a while or you actually know me, then you know I'm always about the blonde hair, the blonde highlights, and I just feel like it looks so much better next to my skin tone and things like that. So I'm kind of itching. Is that how you say it? Inching? No, itching. I'm kind of itching to change my hair up from the red and go back to kind of like my roots, which aren't really my roots, but I feel like I've been wearing my hair in blonde highlights and things so long that it's kind of like a part of me. It's kind of like my signature. So I thought in the meantime, before I decide what I want to actually change my hair to or revamp it to, that I would play around with wigs a little bit because it also keeps my hair protected and gets it prepared for a bleaching process. So if you guys want to hear more about this gorgeous unit that I'm rocking right now, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, let's get into it. As always, this is like one of my favorite companies when it comes to me buying or reviewing a wig that's already pre-made and things like that and that is the company RPG Show. Now they do have different packaging as you can see which I actually like this packaging a lot better. I feel like it's more sturdier because you can definitely store your wigs in here. It's a nice hard box and I also like the color of it as well. Now this particular unit I have done a little bit to it as I always do. Of course on top you have the specifications for your particular wig, the card here which is always very very helpful also something new that they've started they actually put or had the wig in this little packet here which at first I thought it had kind of like a handle on it where you could hang it up which I think would be a great idea and something that they might want to add to these and then within here it had the in like the full wig in here and I'm actually going to keep storing it in this little travel pack and it would be great if you're traveling as well so I thought this was a nice addition to it of course, when the wig comes, it has these little nets on it to make sure that the curls stay compacted and it doesn't get all frizzy and tangled and all that. It also came with a wig cap. This is kind of like a nude color. I never use these particular ones, so I have like tons of them. And then lastly, within the box, you have the RPG Show magazine as usual, which shows you other wigs that they have. Also tips on how to rock your wig, how to cut it, and things like that. This is one of the Anthony Cuts units. Now, if you guys haven't been on the RPG Show website lately, you will not know that he pretty much has maybe 10 or 15 units that he specially created or that are inspired from some of his cuts and hairstyles and coloring. So this one right here, when I saw it on the website, I fell in love with it. Now they have this color blonde and then one other one that's slightly different from this one. I think the roots are a little bit darker on that one than on this one. Now this is the double dimension ash blonde wig and the like what you can type on there to search for it is Anthony Cuts 018. The hair color is exactly as a picture although I did say that I requested that they do a little that they make it a little bit further down. I think on the picture it might be like to right here and I was like that doesn't look natural for me so could you kind of bring it down a little bit more and I think they did a great job in like giving me exactly what it is that I wanted. Um, the length of it was 20 inches as you can see now. It's not that anymore. I think I may have taken off I don't know maybe four inches so it's somewhere around 16 I don't even think it's 18. It's probably like around 16 inches right now. And the texture of this is silky, non-yaki, which we're going to talk about a little bit more in terms of the color process of this and how it feels. Um, the hair density is 200% heavy. And I can definitely say even though it's 200%, it still looks really natural and it feels natural. It doesn't feel extremely heavy on my head or anything like that. The cap construction is a lace front wig cap and then the cap size I have is one. Now the one thing that I kind of don't like as much is how they have the combs within the wig this time. They have one in the very back which I kind of feel like I think it's a little bit useless because it still has the adjustable strap in the back so if you have the adjustable strap then you don't really need a comb back there. Um, and also it still has the two wig combs on the side and I can't remember if it's one in the very center. If it is, I'm not using it right now. 
So I don't really feel like that's necessary either. As long as you have the two on the side and you secure those and then you make sure that you utilize that adjustable strap in the back to make sure that it's nice and secure on your head. So if the wind is blowing a little bit, you are secure. And also if someone decides to, you know, tug on your hair to see if it's yours, it's not going to move or go anywhere. Let's move on and talk about the color of this wig. Now I am in love with this blonde color because as I said, it is double dimension meaning that it has two different types of blonde so right back here you see the very very lightest blonde and then on the top is more of a golden blonde which I do like the kind of like play on the two colors because it gives it more dimension it allows your eyes to like move through and it just draws attention to your hair or to your unit now the feel of it as I said the texture of it is supposed to be silky non yakky and it is that but you have to remember when you're getting hair colored or you're getting it this blonde that it may not really feel like it, it was in its natural state. So I'm used to getting wigs from RPG show that are either black or that are 1B which is kind of like a really dark brown. All of the times that I've gotten those the hair was super duper soft even after I colored it some of those times as well and I sometimes wouldn't use a heat protectant on it sometimes I would like fry it to its death and it would still pop back and look great you cannot do that with this blonde hair here you pretty much have to treat it as you would your own hair if you colored it this blonde color so it is more maintenance with this so if you're going to invest in buying one of these wigs you want to make sure that you're ready for the upkeep of it to make sure that it doesn't tangle it doesn't get knotted and it just doesn't look really sad <laughs> so when I did get it originally in the package I was already prepared for what to expect like I already knew it was going to be a little bit dry so as I do all the time when I first get a wig I always have to wash it I never just plop it right onto my head because I just feel like it's a little bit nasty and I don't want to I don't want to work with that I don't know where the wig's been before I got it and all of that so just to be on the you know precautious side I just go ahead and wash it so I did co-wash it like maybe two times and then I deep conditioned it overnight just in a plastic bag and left it there because I was like this hair is going to need some real revitalization and rejuvenation before I can wear it so when I came back the next day I rinsed it out with some cool water and it really like it was a dramatic difference from what it was when I originally got it because it was feeling so brittle and I was scared to even put any more heat on the hair but now it's nice and soft mind you it doesn't feel like it would if it wasn't I'm um, if it wasn't processed so you still have to keep that in mind it doesn't feel super silky kind of feels like my own hair would feel when I would have it colored um and highlights blonde and stuff like that I don't know if this hair is supposed to be like straight hair or if it's wavy hair but it doesn't hold curls that well now it will hold a wave or a loose curl for a long time but if you want it to be tight curls even if you use hairspray on it it's not going to hold the curls as long as you would want them to so just be ready for kind of like that carefree wavy look that you see that i'm wearing right now this is what the length of it looks like right now and i think it's perfect it's pretty much just to bra strap length and i think that's about 16 inches and let me show the other side So I am feeling very fierce in this hair and I'm going to be rocking this so much for the next few months and I'm also thinking about cutting it because you guys know I like my short bob wigs and things like that. But that will probably be more towards the end of the summer just because I want to rock this a little bit. Let me know what you guys think I should do to this wig to jazz it up even more. If you guys want to find out more about this make sure you look in the description box below because I will have the link to this particular unit and also the specifications and things like that that I talked about in this video for you guys to look at for your information or your viewing pleasure whatever it is. Um, also if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and show your girl some love. If you are not a subscriber then go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the family as always. And until next time, I will see all of you beautiful people later. Bye.